efforts to make safety improvements to a stretch of road in Sacramento where three people, including two children, were killed in a crash one week ago tonight. It happened along San Juan Road near Northgate Boulevard. We know that eight others were severely injured, including seven kids. Fox 40's Mason Morrow joining us live after hearing from a community leader who says that her warnings about that road went unheard. Mason. Yeah, Eric, Nikki, I spoke today with Marbella Sola. She's the president of a local neighborhood association here in the Northgate area of Sacramento. And she told me she has a phone conversation this evening with someone from the city to talk about safety suggestions, measurements for San Juan Road, specifically this S curve where that crash happened at. But she tells me it's a continuation of a conversation she first brought to the city council more than two years ago. And I feel for their families, um, what they must be going through. Marbella Sala looks upon the faces of kids nearly killed in a devastating crash on San Juan Road just one week ago. I was very hurtful. I was really hurt and I hurt for the families, but I was angry at the same time. That frustration spilled over last week after she learned two of the young kids and one of their mothers died in the single car crash. It's painful, painful to see the, these little kids. I'm just constantly crying up there. So. Fox 40 spoke with Zachariah Mangrum, whose three year old son Zayden was killed in the crash. His six year old daughter Jalayla is fighting for her life. She made me so happy seeing her doing things. And now to see her like this, bro, is breaking me. Well, the more accidents on that road. Yeah. I wish there was something to be done before, beforehand. Could we have done more? Should we have pushed stronger, pushed harder? Sala second guesses her effort two years after she says she carried her concerns to the Sacramento City Council. But I believe that it was preventable. I completely believe that it could have been prevented. Sola tells Fox 40 she and other leadership on the Garden Land Northgate Neighborhood Association Board met with then City Council Member Jeff Harris to suggest safety improvements at the San Juan Road S curve. I would like those strips before you enter. Rumble strips, stop lights, lit warning signs are all ideas, Sola says, were shot down. We're told it's not possible, there's no resources, and then we just kind of have to. Accepted. A city official confirms with Fox 40 the Public Works Department is installing a flashing crosswalk and refuge island in the median connecting the Ninos Parkway Trail across San Juan Road just feet from the crash. Protection for pedestrians and a deterrent for speeding drivers. It's unfortunate it takes these kind of things to make something a priority and it shouldn't be that way. A solution too late for Sala to stomach but one she hopes saves the lives of others. I also spoke over the phone tonight with City Council Member Karina Telemontes. This is her district here in Northgate. She was unable to meet in person, actually, because she was over at that horrific crash in West Natomas this evening. But she was un unable to confirm over the phone whether her office was aware of these uh, safety suggestions that were brought to her office more than two years ago. But she did tell me they do plan to put some uh, signage in the area here along San Juan Road as you approach this S-curve to let drivers know to slow down once they get near it. Reporting live in Thomas covering local news that matters. I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.